I appreciate you joining us today. Thank you, Todd. It's great to be here. What are the key attributes of a modern leader? A, a modern leader is a visionary and a coach. The, the leader sets the vision for the team and provides guidance and coaching uh, for the team to achieve that vision. One of the other important aspects is that he will, uh, or he or she, will set the culture for the team and not only setting the culture but will live the culture and reinforce good behaviours within the organisation to, uh, to build a spree de corps and a culture for success. What was the circumstance that made you become a leader? Well, that was fairly easy because um, in my, my early life, I, uh, I joined a, a military college um, and uh, the Royal Military College at Duntroon, which was all about leadership and leadership training. So I was uh, really forced into leadership and, uh, and following that as, a, as an officer in the Australian Army, um, leadership was uh, our, my, my purpose for being. What are the three challenges for a leader today? Well, firstly would be uh, people. People are core to any endeavour and leading the people, developing the culture, the esprit de corps, setting the, um, the, set, the, the organisational culture is uh, essential to uh, any leadership task. Secondly is managing change. In the current environment, we are living in a, an era of ever, ever changing um, organisations, ever changing demands, ever changing uh, environmental and security situation. So we need to uh, um, continually adapt and adopt, and, and really the, the, the modern term is to be to agile to follow the, the changes and maintain the, um, the culture of the organisation. And thirdly is a, more of a, the regulatory environment or the, the legal and demands of the community and also the, uh, the legal structures to maintain um, the, uh, the, 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 the structures and presence for the organisation. Are having goals important to achievement in career development? Yes, goals are important, but not necessarily specific goals. I think for career advancement, one needs to be ambitious and seeking to uh, continually improve. But um, in, in the modern environment where uh, there's continuous change, it's not possible to plot out a career over um, 20 years. Um, it's probably uh, challenging to plot a career out over three or five years. But what is, what is important is to um, continually challenge oneself and to um, be ambitious and take on ever increasing responsibility and, and new challenges. How important is it to gain international experience? I, I think it's essential to gain international experience. In the modern uh, workplace, most, or certainly from my experience, um, my recent uh, work has always been in a multidisciplinary and a multicultural environment. So um, clearly when working overseas, you are working with a mix of different cultures and uh, the only way to, uh, to work effectively with those cultures is to have the experience um, of working internationally. But even uh, when working domestically, the, uh, the workforce is multicultural and, uh, and it, it's best to uh, um, have that international experience so you can empathise and uh, understand how your, your, your workforce works. Is it important to have mentors and coaches in your life? Uh, it, it's not essential. It's desirable to have uh, a sounding board. Um, Leadership can be a very lonely place and uh, it's comforting to have someone to, uh, to uh, seek counsel from, but uh, it, it's not essential. Um, it is essential to have role models. So uh, any good leader would be a student of history, 
um, whether that be uh, uh, just general history, political history, but understanding the, um, the, the characteristics of, uh, of good leaders and uh, try to emulate those characteristics. How important is personal relationships to building a profile? Relationships are very important. Relationships are very important in everything we do. Um, within the workplace and within the family and within uh, your social environment but uh, to it's particularly a, uh, in, the, in the work environment where um, whilst you may work internationally it's a very small world and you're continually um, coming across people you've, you've met in previous um, uh, previous lives, previous workplaces and um, to the, the word of mouth knowledge and experience and being able to uh, not only seek out new jobs but also within a, uh, a job when there's, there's tasks uh, to provide assistance and uh, counsel in the development or delivery of those tasks. What is the secret to working in virtual teams? It's very difficult to work in, in virtual teams but the fundamental element of, of any team is to uh, build a, a culture for the team and also to provide adequate communications and effective communications. The, um, a lot of virtual teams um, would, would meet very rarely, or if some would not meet at all, but it's important for the leader to uh, at least get around to provide a, a personal contact with, uh, with all, all people in the team and then follow up with regular communications, ideally um, um, spoken communications and not just at arm's length email communication. So using technology such as video conferencing or even just telephone conferencing, it's important to, uh, to continually communicate uh, both ways effectively. What advice would you give to an aspiring leader? Um, and as an inspiring leader, one needs to uh, get one's feet into the, into the water. The leadership is not a theoretical endeavour. You can't read about, we well can read about leadership, but it's not a sole way to learn. The only way to uh, practice and improve leadership is to get out and, um, and, and, and um, get involved, to make mistakes, to learn, and continually improve. One of the key attributes of a good leader would be empathy and understanding of his team. So it's very important to, um, to continually relate and understand the, the, the personal relationships and characteristics of your team. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Todd.